Hi, welcome to my channel Coding Skills. In this video, I am going to discuss about how we can find the next prime number for the given input number. Before getting into, into the details, we will see like what exactly a prime number. In mathematical terms, a prime number means a number which can be divisible by one and along with itself. So apart from that, if that particular number is divisible by any other number, then the particular number is not called as prime number. If you take an example, number five is a prime number because it can be divisible by one as well as five. Apart from that, it cannot be divisible by any other number. If you take invalid prime number as an example, eight. So eight can be divisible by one and eight. Along with that, it can also be divisible by number two and number four. Hence, eight cannot be a valid prime number. Okay, so let's see how we can implement the same in a programmatically. I'm getting into Eclipse editor. I'm creating new Java class. Also choosing public static wide main method. I'm importing scanner object. In order to read some data from the keyboard, then creating a scanner object. And mapping it to input string. And printing a message on the console requesting the user to enter a number. Then we'll store it in some integer variable int and equal sc dot next it. This is going to capture the value from the keyboard. So first we'll check the validation. If n less than one, then we'll print it and format a message to the user. This is the valid number. Else. So I'm going to write the logic in a separate method. So which we are going to invoke in this else block. So I'm just adding a comment for the better readability. So I'm going to create a new method. So this new method, which is of type public static, and it's not going to return anything. And name of the method and next prime number. So input for this method is whatever we read from the keyboard. And within this particular method, we are going to write the actual logic. So I'm declaring one Boolean variable is prime equal to false initializing with the false value. So as we don't know how many iterations that needs to be repeated to find the next prime number for the given input number, hence I'm going to run an infinite loop while dot is prime. So until the prime value is true, repeat the loop. I'm also creating P is prime equal to initializing the prime value with a true and increment in the value of n by one. Now we are going to write a for loop for int i equal to two i less than or equal to n by two i plus plus so here we are checking only up to the up to n by two so we don't need to repeat the loop until the n so this condition should be sufficient if you process the value up to the half of the number and the main condition is if n percentage i equal to zero this is the main condition if this is true then we are going to initialize with a false value because it got divisible by some other number and we are going to break the for loop we are going to come out from the for loop 
and after the for loop we are going to check if prime value is true then we are going to print a message next number so the value of n if this is not true then obviously loop is going to continue and the value of n will be increased and this process will continue okay until it finds the next valid prime number as we have created separate method i am going to call this particular method in a else block within a main method and we need to pass input variable which is n so we are almost done with the coding so let's run the program first i'll run a negative scenario so there is a condition that it should be if it is less than one so we are going to print a valid number enter a valid number running again with the next set of conditions so so four is a not a prime number right so next to prime number for the given input number is 5 because this 5 can be divisible by 5 and as well as 1 it cannot be divisible by any other number let's run it again i'm going to enter a input value as 5 this time so 5 is a prime number but we have requested for the next prime number right so the loop continued for the next number so 6 is not a prime number because it can it can be divisible by 3 right and as well as 2 so the next prime number is 7 so this can be divisible by only 1 and 7 okay this is what the program to find the next prime number please practice this program and let me know in case if you are having any issues while implementing the program so that i can respond to your queries thank you very much bye